Hello, hello. I am uh, going to be making a tutu tonight and some samples. Um, so let me just get my design ready to go here and in brilliance, and then I'll be right with you guys. Okay, she paid. And I just got an order, so that's cool. Didn't hear the cha-ching, though, or anything like that, so that's kind of disappointing, but um, I guess we'll have to see. So I am making a too sweet birthday outfit in pastel colors with the matching tutu. So I'm excited to see how it turns out. Hi, Robin. Hey, Naomi. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm just getting an embroidery file here together. I'm going to be making a sample while I sew because tonight's the only night that I have to make samples. And then tomorrow after work, I'm going to be heading to Syracuse to hang out with my uh, mom and my sister for the weekend. So that's what we got going on. Let me change my hoop size. There we go. No, I should have done this before the live here, but life happens. So I'll show you the sample that I made in a minute and then you guys can kind of see um, Oh, did I get rid of that other? Oh, there we go. Make it centered. Okay, there's that. I'm going to add a name. Uh, might help if I had the right font. What name shall I do? Oh, hello. Ooh, look at this chat. Thank you. I am glad to be a part of it. I'm still trying to figure it all out, though. So, um, yeah, well, thank you for joining me, Nairo. I appreciate that. Um, sounds good. Yeah, I usually listen to people while I work as well. So definitely appreciate you joining. What needle you use for your serger? Um, I use, uh, I think it's... It's the stretch needles from, um, yeah, I know I use the stretch needles because I sometimes use stretchy fabric. So that's kind of the type that I use. Uh, I don't know, like, the actual size, though. Well, thank you for posting that. <laughs> oh, look at you guys. But, uh, yeah, so I don't know exactly what size, but I definitely know it's like a stretch needle. I want to say... Like 7511, I think. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> All right, let me get my design here together and then we can chat. Um, I'll do the name Caroline. That sounds lovely. Yeah, so I'll get this sample that I made last night and show you guys. So let me see if you guys can see this that well. So here's a sample that I made last night. So it's like a cupcake design. Um, so I'm gonna do a two sweet design, kind of pretty much the same thing like this. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for the reminder, Mary. I appreciate that. Hi, Maria. Look at all you guys join in here. So yeah, this is what we're kind of be making tonight. Um, and then also the tutu, but I wanna, like it's nice because this for this design it does puts the applique down first and then it stitches. So 
And luckily for the two sweet, it just the T and the W and then the O is going to be the cupcake. So basically they make the same design. And then for the name, it's going to be in like pastel uh, sort of colors. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That's a shame. It's definitely tough when, you know, your animals get older and it's kind of funny, but not funny. It's kind of sad because I used to be able to watch the movie Marley and Me. And then ever since my first pet passed away, I can't watch it. You know, I know the dog's going to die. I've seen the movie. Like, I just can't watch it. You know what I mean? So, um, I don't know. Unless it's like a puppy, then I'm fine. But once it gets older, I'm like, nope. No, thanks. So I totally understand that. Um, so I'm going to do the name in the same colors. I'm just going to kind of color, color coordinate them here. So purple, light blue. I think I had an order for a Caroline. And then I need an orange and yellow. And then purple. I think that shifted a little bit. Yeah. Move you back. Your teal. Then light pink, or light red, or whatever. Okay, so let me get my USB, turn my machine on. I think it has a fresh bobbin too, so that's good. It's got all the colors. I'll put my hoop on. my connector, which is not where it usually is. Sorry, I'm just going to move you guys for a second. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to make a tutu that's teal or aqua, I guess, or teal. I think it's teal. Then like a lavender color and then a light pink. So that's what we're going to be making today. And let me save this onto my USB. And I have to plug in the stuff from my embroidery machine. And then we can chat once I do my applique parts. And you can see me struggle making a tutu because I attempted to do it last night. And I don't think I cut it appropriately. So I had to cut everything all over again. So it just happens. All right, so save as Caroline. I don't know why I thought of that name. Okay, you can go away. I hate it when you try to close a tab, but then it doesn't close out. All right, and then get rid of the USB. Hello, Sandy. Hi, everybody. You guys are all very chatty. I'm not used to you guys being so chatty, so I appreciate that. You all saying hello to each other. Hello, Custom Bella Creations. Is your name Bella, or is that just part of your name? You might have said your name before. I don't remember. And thank you for sharing me in your discords. I appreciate that. Okay, so I'm going to go to my machine back here, get it all plugged in. I might actually bring you guys with me just to make sure I plug in everything appropriately. Uh, I'll put you on top of here. There, so you can see me plug it all in. All 
I just really want to get these two designs uploaded to my shop before the weekend and hopefully I can kind of get some orders that way. A design set, nope. File, Caroline. I'm going to quickly trace. There we go. All right, so first steps are the applique, and then the T, which will be. Uh, nope. T is seven. W will be teal, which is nine. Okay, and then the cupcake, which is 12. I think I did. Yeah, that's right. So I did teal. Yellow, which is five. Purple, 13. And then seven, eight. Fifteen, 14. And I think it does. Oh yeah, just the sweet. Okay, so sweet is gonna be in purple. And then three sprinkles. So we'll do teal, that yellow, and then the name, 13, nine, Seven, eight, five, thirteen, nine, seven. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay. And we'll start. Let me see what you guys are saying. Engraved in the short of a fast way of floating a towel in the hoop. In a slightly longer video, the fast way to float a towel. Oh, that's good. Glad to hear that. No problem. Is getting taken over from Stephen and Lily's game, you know. <laughs> yeah, I see that you do uh, gaming and stuff on your channel too. Watched a few of the videos. All right, so I'm putting down the first applique part. Okay. So there is the T, so I'm just going to cut that out. Um, usually I like to sit while I do this, but I guess I'll do it standing up because it's not like it's an actual shirt. Just a sample. I don't have to be super precise with it. Might be more difficult with the T though. Or the W, I mean. Yeah, just got an order too. So I think I have two orders I need to work on. Never finish that other order that I was doing on my one live. So there's the T. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think I have one video to edit. I did post my sublimation video, which thank you if you watch that. Uh, well, the unboxing it. I still have to do some uh, tutorials. All right, so this one will be teal. Absolutely, I'd appreciate that. I mean, might as well keep it, right? Are you over a thousand subscribers on there or no? I don't remember if you were or not. I'm going to squat on the floor and do it. I don't trust myself. Then luckily after I cut this out, it's just going to do this, the, all the satin stitches and stuff. So you don't have to tend to it for a while. Unless the bobbin runs out, but I believe I just put in a fresh one, so we should be good to go with that. Also need to do laundry. Uh, I don't know if I'll have time for that, though. I might have to do that at my, my mom's house. Okay, there's a W, so all done with the applique. Oh, cool, I'd appreciate that. Well, that's good. I mean, that's a really good, accom great accomplishment that you're over 577. Seems like just yesterday I was at that point too. Okay, we're all good. Let's make a choo choo. All right, also want to do a TikTok live, so this should be interesting. Don't know exactly where to put you guys either, so we'll just kind of figure it out. I might put you like, I don't know. Let me give this away. And then this up, nice and tall. And I got this uh, thing from Amazon years ago, so I recommend it, especially if you do haul videos and stuff like that. I'm just going to have it like this. Ooh, new subscriber. Thank you guys for subscribing. I just hit 770. So I'm going to turn this change to my kids shop. Five. That's a good angle. I don't want people to see the comments, but I guess it is what it is. Oh. All right, going live on TikTok. Hello, Beth. Gotcha. Got you back. 
or Mary, sorry. I have so much crap all over the place here. Okay. So I'm thinking I'm going to start with purple just because my uh, ribbon is literally all on the floor here. So I'm going to start with purple. I might leave you guys there. Okay. Hi, everybody on TikTok. I am making my first tutu for my Etsy shop. So this should be interesting. Yeah, I, I understand that. I understand that, Beth. Or Mary. Sorry. Why do I keep calling you Beth? I swear. <laughs> I worked a nine to five today, guys. So sorry if I'm a little bit loopy. <laughs> there. Let's pray that this works out better than my ones that did yesterday. And that's all I got to say. And I do go slow. So I'm just going to do the uh, adding the ribbon right now. So I'm just going to do like sections at a time. And I'm going to adjust. Sorry if YouTube, if you guys are a little wobbly there. Oh, you guys aren't bad. Probably because I'm going very slow. No, eventually I'll be faster at this, but since this is my first one, I'm going to take my time. This tool probably sitting in my closet well over a year now. And now I'm just getting into it. Hello, hello. Six to three. That is tough. I'm lucky because I only have to wake up at 7 30 in the morning for my job. And it's literally 10 minutes down the road. So usually not even 10 minutes. I think it takes me like eight minutes. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I usually spend the first half hour just waking up because I'm not a morning person. And then I eat my, my breakfast at that time too. And, uh, yeah, and then I start getting ready around eight o'clock. And then I, uh, usually leave around 820 and then I get to work. So it's very nice. And then I get to work remotely on Fridays. So I just have one more day of in-person work and then I get to work remotely. So I am very much looking forward to that. And it's nice because whenever I go visit my, my parents and stuff, you know, I can just work remotely that day. And I usually do my Zoom meetings in uh, their basement. So it's nice I have a space to do that. Check TikTok here in a moment. See if I'm viral. Probably not. <laughs> What's the right side for Matt Satman? Both sides look the same. I know. Um, for me, there's like one side that's like satin feely, but it has like a little like like kind of like a grainy look to it. That's the wrong side. 
So I have the grainy side that feels a little not as soft to have that on where I'm sewing the, um, the tool. So then when I flip it the other side, it's on the right side, if that makes any sense. So I'm sewing on the wrong side that has that kind of a, not as very like not, it's barely noticeable. So even if you mix up the two, I honestly don't think it's a big deal. Almost done with this one side and I'm doing double layer of ribbon so I have to do the other side so I have three colors so I have six uh, tool strands to do so hopefully I can get it all done tonight we'll just have to see I feel like I can once I, if I just focus But I'm just trying to make sure that I sew down both layers of tool. And it is kind of hard to see, so that's why I, I really have to pay attention for this. All right, so there is one side done. I'm going to cut that in. I do have a lighter, but it does not work, so that's fun. Thank you for following. I am making a tutu for my Etsy shop. Um, it's my first ever tutu. So it is a, let me see, where's the sample? So it's like a forever sweet birthday outfit in pastel colors. Um, so I'm making a matching tutu. So the colors are the lavender here. You can see the um, aqua color or the teal color, right? It's my favorite right there and then I have light pink as well. So it'll match really nicely with this. And on my embroidery machine right now, I'm actually uh, stitching out a sample that says too sweet. So um, basically the same exact colors as this, except it has a two T and a W and then it has that same exact uh, company. So let me know if you guys have any other questions too. I am gonna check occasionally for TikTok. So, uh, let me know, like I said, if you guys have any questions. Same for YouTube as well. Okay. Oh, wow. No problem. I appreciate you joining. Okay. And then I need to make sure I get this part correct. So this is going to be folded over. So I'll start from this end. Oh yeah, I did a much better job cutting. Okay. So let me get everything lined up here. And I am using a seven eighths inch ribbon too. Um, I think I, I actually got this from eBay. to hoping I don't mess this up. Cheers. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I got this. Hi, Nancy. How are you? Hope you guys had a good day. I mean, I know it's usually tough working or just be it being a Wednesday. I don't like middle of the week, so. But then again, it is nice because you're almost done with the week, so. And it's almost Friday. Yeah, I think last yesterday what I was messing up was is that I didn't cut the, the uh, tool correctly, so it was very like not aligned very well, but this time I feel like I got a better handle on it. Mix 
excited to see how this does in my shop. Because these, my two sweet and forever sweet outfits with the sport do really well. So I'm hoping adding the cupcake theme uh, birthday outfit and the matching tutu. I hope it does well too. We'll have to see. I have a good feeling about it though. So I hope to get my samples done tonight. And then when I get home from work, I'm going to go outside and take some pictures. I'm kind of concerned because it was kind of dark outside when I got out of work today, though. But I think because it rained and hopefully it doesn't rain tomorrow. But we'll have to see. Oh, you are not fashionably late. It's only, I've only been live half an hour. You're completely fine. Excited to see how this turns out. I think it's going to look adorable. And I have a mannequin too. I'm going to put it on as well. And I'm going to Photoshop the uh, sam shirt sample that I made. And I'm going to put it on, uh, uh, like Photoshop it onto the actual outfit. So I just do little sections at a time, and then I make sure the tools all line up. did a much better job with this one. Much better job. All right, cut off the ribbon. Okay. So I'm going to create the channel, which I usually do a tighter stitch length. I'm going to fold it over. Make a ch uh, channel about an inch, probably a bit bigger than an inch. Lower it a few times. Probably won't be perfect, but that's okay. Is okay. Fun to make something new too, so I'm liking it.
I know. Well, that's why I love my Rakoma because I don't have to do color changes. All I had to do was put down two pieces of applique and then I just let it stitch out. So I am a very good multitasker in that regard. Oh, it's looking cute. I'm so still. I love this lavender. It's just going to be so precious when it's done. And then I also want to eventually add like a birthday number too. So probably when I get back, um, I'll make a sample with the birthday number. All right, so we got one done. So here is one of the purples. So here, one of the purples. I'm just gonna kind of fold it up and put it to the side because we're done with that for now. I'm just gonna put it over there. See what's going on the top. Uh, thank you guys so much for all the likes. I appreciate it. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what I'm hoping for too, because my casing was a little bit like a little bit off, but hopefully once I thread the elastic, it'll be much much better. So I have a big old thing of the ribbon here, so I'm just gonna unwind that. I'm very excited to see how this turns out. Sewed up that one pretty quickly, too. All right. Yeah, so I got the tool and... Oh, you can that a little bit. I got the tool and the... Uh, the ribbon from uh, eBay. So, got to do what you got to do. And it's good quality. I mean, I really like it. I heard that when it comes to making tutus, uh, usually you don't want it to be like, like, uh, uh, let me make sure Do I have that right. Yes. Usually with tutus, you don't want the tool to be too soft because then it's more difficult to work with. But this one works really well. Okay, uh, longer stitch length, I think it was about that. It's funny because I watch other YouTubers make these tutus and they're so fast at it and here I am like, Moving we'll like a grandma, but I feel like it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I it took me really a long time to cut out the tool, the tool just because I didn't want to mess it up again and like kind of waste money in a way. So that's why I took my time and I wasn't live right away when I got home from work. Plus, I wanted to eat, so I had an apple. I had applesauce and a banana for dinner. No, I am not a baby, but, you know, I just saw it in the fridge and I thought that sounded good. So the grown woman meal, what can I say?
Etsy uh, Etsy order I got. I uh, I think I saw it was like a some sort of sweet themed birthday outfit. So when I checked Etsy, it didn't say it was paid, but I just checked when I went live and it said that it paid. So that's nice. And hopefully, maybe I'll get some more. Maybe I'll get my first sale for my first uh, choo choo um, this weekend. We'll just have to see. That's why I want to get this done and post it as soon as possible. And if people are looking at my other sweet birthday outfits, they may be like, oh, she has a choo choo. Let me look at that. So um, that's all we, that's the hope at least. Yeah, it was actually this time last year that I posted my first Sweet Pink birthday outfit. So hopefully that success will go on to my uh, tutus here. We'll have to see. And I'm gonna, I have the boxes and I'm planning on shipping them too. So I have all that, all the supplies really that I need. So I'll be good to go. I just have to input make these take pictures edit the pictures and uh post them all right so there's one layer i think i started from this side from the other side Get my ribbon on there. Then we'll change to another color. So I just have the ribbon on my floor just to kind of keep it there. One day it'd be amazing to be like Catchy's Customs and uh, make all these tutus and get all these orders. So that's the dream one day. We'll see if it is achievable or not. about 75 things to take pics of and spend the weekend. So, you know, oh, heck no. I can barely get one listing up, let alone 75. Wow. Good luck. Unfortunately, I won't be live to keep you company, so hopefully you can find something to watch and or listen to to motivate you and keep you going. So it's done with the cupcake. So we're stitches out pretty quickly. Well, luckily, um, hopefully you know how to copy copy listings on Etsy. That's what I do, and then I change a few of the words and the tags and I just post it. Nobody's got time to be making new listings every single time. I used to do that, and then 
Um, I only know, I think you could do it on your phone, but um, I usually do it on my desktop. I just copy and paste. That's, I usually upload new items just through my desktop anyway, so that's kind of what works best for me. Done. I just have to miss sew the channel. Hi, Emma. I am making a size 2T. Um, so I am making it for, uh, might have just ran out of all the Nevo. I am making it for um, a forever sweet birthday outfit. And I'm also, right now, I'm stitching out a, a two sweet shirt. So that's kind of what I'm working on. All right. What happened to you? Oh, ma'am, that's not nice. Uh, bobbin is okay. I'll redo the bobbin just in case. Is everything threaded okay? Yes, it is. I always go through my checklist. I fix the bobbin. Um, I cut my thread and then I'm going to go over, I'm going to rewind and fix the places where it messed it up. So, and then if it does it again, then I'm going to replace the needle. So that's what I'm doing back here. Sounded a little funky in my opinion, so. I'm going to stop it about there, start her up again. Did you become unthreaded? Yes, you did. That is not nice. Um, oh, you got caught in the back. That's fun. That's a good time. All right, let me rethread this needle. I think that's what messed it up. And then if it's the needle itself after this, if it messes up again, I'll replace it. Probably should replace most of my needles at this point and the thread split. Do 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 do. Welcome to life of a crafter. Thread it through the needle. And no, I do not have those needle threader thingies. I just do it manually myself. The old fashioned way. So then if it messes up again, new needle. So let's start. girls and boys birthday outfits what kind of outfits do you make I miss Danny's live on TikTok earlier working the office there is not only regular work but conversations going on oh yeah exactly a bunch of women in a room oh yep I feel the same way um, for my work it was um, I work at a college and it was the first day of classes yesterday um, so yesterday was kind of quiet and then today I had more traffic. So, um, yeah, so I totally understand that. It was, I think it might've been the bobbin. I don't know. Something kind of got a little bit wonky. Uh, the thread actually came out of the thing. So 
Let me double check. Yeah, smooth this button now. So we're going to get to go. I'm going to put my purple ribbon away and sew up my channel. And then we'll be done with the purple. So we are getting there. Trying to make it look nice. Struggle's real. There we go. Hello, Liz. How are you? What are you gonna make for dinner? I had applesauce and a banana, so I'm real. I'm a real big grown up here. I'm, I'm a real one, not going to lie. I'm a real tutu maker. Look at me making a tutu. I mean, I'm just killing it right now. Embroidery, making a tutu. I mean, I am just a professional at this point. I can make anything and everything. Oh, this one turned out perfect. Perfect size. Ends match up wonderfully. God bless America. Oh, perfection. <laughs> I had chicken crack and lightly sauce cheesy veggies. Ooh, nice. So there's our second purple done. So we're all done with the purples. Fold it up nicely. That looks good. All right, next color, we'll do pink. Pink is a fun color. I like pink. I just hope this looks cute. That's all I'm concerned about. Do, 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 do. What's going on with TikTok before I start up? Kind of quiet on the TikTok, but that's okay. At least I have you guys to talk to. Okay, so stitch length about a little bit over three. Gonna do light pink now. Uh, 
ribbons all over. Trying not to step on it. Okay, pink, let's go. Light pink, very cute. Did I check? Yeah, that's the wrong side. I just happen to have the wrong side or the right side. The wrong right side that I wanted, so I got the correct side. Oh no. I don't cook much, probably because I live by myself. So most I make is like eggs and toast and soup. That's about it. Oh, I make like fish sticks and stuff sometimes, if you can call that cooking. Basically stuff that's easy to put together, I like to make it. coming out a lot faster than I thought it would, so I'm very impressed with myself. We're almost through the one side of the paint. Have them lined up beautifully. This is very fun to me. Might even turn out faster than my squirts, which would be amazing. And I got my beautiful sample stitching out. Sounds like it is making the sprinkles on the shirt now. Yeah, I mean, you kind of have to eat to live, so. Yeah, I would love to get something like that. Probably a crock pot would be more up my alley. And that lined up beautifully as well. Did I take my big scissors? Yes, I did. Okay, so there's one side. Oh yeah, <laughs> they might eat you instead. <laughs> All right, and then British away. I'm so excited. For the first two, two. And now, since I properly cut it, this is working out a lot nicer than it was last night. I'm kind of glad that I had I recut everything. Thank <laughs> you. 
plastic. I think it might start doing the name soon, honestly. It's working its way through the sprinkles. You see, this is why I love my Wacoma, because I can just put the design in and do the applique parts and leave it. It's amazing. Just amazing. Now I think it's doing the name. Yep. So the name's in the rainbow pastel colors as well. shaken. Um, it depends on your credit. Um, I pay two fifty a month, and I think that's the lowest that you can go, I believe, for payments. <laughs> uh oh, competition. <laughs> I do not condone violence in the chat, just saying. Mods, back me up. <laughs> we are friends, we do not fight. <laughs> At least we're not supposed to, anyways. like this lovely channel. Okay, I did it right. I was about to lose it. I know I'm not gonna lie, I was about to lose it. Okay. Fold. Oh beautiful. Yeah, I don't, I'm not, a, I've never been in a fight, so don't make me fight. <laughs> you, nobody wants to see that. Let's just say that. Nobody wants to see that. I'd be like, that'd be my fighting. I'd be like, can't, can't we all, why can't we just talk this through? Yeah, I've never been close to ever being in a fight. Well, I've had like arguments and stuff with like friends, but I guess like verbal fights, I guess, like just disagreements over things, but never anything physical. I'd be like a T-Rex trying to fight. I just don't have the coordination either. I would like lose my balance and fall on the ground without even touching the person. That's how bad my balance is. Nobody wants to see that. I just don't like arguing with people, so 
So usually if it gets testy, I'm like, all right, I'm out, bye. No thanks. I'm good. Yeah, this one is perfection as well, so I definitely cut it a lot better than I did before. Oh, I think it's done. And we're done with this one as well. So we're halfway there with making the channels and everything. And getting everything prepped. Put that by the purple. Hey, stay. It's going to fall over. I'll put it right there. All right. Okay. Oh, it's adorable. It's adorable. I'm going to turn this off for the night. Thank you for the follow. So here's what we made. It's a too sweet birthday shirt. And then I'm making the matching too, too. So... Very, very cute. Let me show you the YouTube people. So there's a sample that we made. Um, as you can see, it's got the, the pastel colors. I think it turned out really cute. Um, actually, met, oh, I, I like that better, though. I was supposed to switch out the, do the pink here with the orange, but I actually kind of like it better this way. So thank you guys for the encouraging words. I'm just going to put that on the floor. It will take pictures of that later. Okay. There's a wrong side. Going to unroll some more. Thank you, guys. You guys are so nice. Increase stitch length. I feel really good about this. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie to you. I feel good about this. So first, drop your ribbon. Step number one. Step number two, try to keep all the pieces together, not falling apart. There we go. All right, let's finish the pink and then we'll move on to the teal. And then we can start putting it all together. How exciting. And then I might put another sample on the machine. We'll have to see. My biggest goal tonight was just to get this tutu done. And then a goal that I really should have tried to accomplish is organizing my closet. That is, so I had I, over here on the side there, I, those, these were my closet. So I have one that right there and then one right there. Those are both in my closet, but I brought them out here just because to make it more of like an aesthetic and just so my fabrics right there. Uh, so I moved this table over to this, all the way to the wall here and that fit perfectly. Um, but now I have a big empty space in my closet. And of course, I threw a lot of crap in there. So I can't even walk in it right now. So maybe after I get home this weekend, I'll work on that. But then again, I have two orders to work on and ship out. So we shall see how much I accomplish when it comes to that.
but this has been a really big uh, project that I've wanted to do a long time is making these th this tutu. I'm glad that it's happening, that's for sure. I think it's long overdue. my sample had a fall. Oh, can't see what I'm doing. Oh my God, the crafter daddy. That is so freaking funny. I love that. <laughs> I like one of those too, please. Thanks. I'm sorry, Sonia. Jeez, I fixed it. I fixed it on my own. Thank you before reading your comment. I'm a professional. <laughs> but I feel like this is a good angle that you guys can see what I'm doing. I purposely did it that way so you guys could see what I was doing. So you'd be wondering what I was doing. So kind of like in an inception sort of a thing so I'm just saying and they have fabric that I think would look really cute as a number for this tutu so yeah I'm excited got all the ideas and I've had this fabric as well for a year or two so I'm really trying this year to not spend as much money on craft supplies. Um, we'll see how long that lasts, but I did save a good amount of money this month. So hold on, let me turn off my alarm. There we go. Am I still connected here? y'all? Yes. I mean, if you're hearing a noise, I mean, obviously it was not my sewing machine, so <laughs> I don't know what sound would be similar to a sewing machine. I mean, a serger sounds completely different, so... No problem. I know you guys got stuff you're doing and I do the same thing while I'm at work. I pop in and pop out when I'm able to. So no worries. I'm just glad you joined tonight. Glad I joined some discords as well. You trim this down because I don't need to hold it. Okay. All right. So there's one side. Let me unroll some more tool. Got to step on said tool first. I know. I mean, here I am having a Recoma to pay off every month, so that's fun. Um, but luckily, Etsy is picking up the pace, so hopefully that'll help, you know, pay some of the, a good chunk of that off. We'll see. A girl, you know, a girl can dream, right? You know, it's fine. But I'm really trying to, like, just use what I have because I have a lot, a lot of stuff that I, like, I'm like, oh, I'll use that for a crafting project and I never do anything with it. So that's why when I saw this, to this tool, I was like, okay, I'm just going to work on it. Hi, Janie. I understand. Yeah. 
Um, I love my single needle because I also use that for like craft shows and stuff to travel. Um, but I can definitely understand how having a big, big mother like that machine <laughs> would be, you know, take up a lot of space and everything like that. But who knows? Go two two time. Lined it up. That's my two two song. I hope you enjoy it. Cut off the tool that has no purpose. Match up the ends. Hopefully I'm not losing followers on TikTok or YouTube because of my poor singing. Um, match you up. Get in there. Put you down. Sew you on. had been working with quite a lot of tool in the last couple months for costumes and I eventually got the hang of it. It is, um, it's like stiffer tool, I would say. It's definitely not soft, but I heard that stiffer is usually the better tool to work with and the soft is kind of a bit dicey, so. I have some, I think, from uh, BB Crafts, which I know that uh, Danny from Sweet Thread Gifts doesn't like, so um, we'll see if, you know, what happens with that if whenever I uh, finish this tool. I think I have like hot pink and red from them, so it wouldn't really apply to this tutu exactly, but whenever I make other tutus in the future, you know, um, I'll probably order from this uh, eBay site if they do sell it, because like I said, I purchased this a whole, a whole year ago, literally just set, uh, January 2022, so um, or around there. I know it was around when I moved in here, which was in January last year. So um, around that time is when I, I bought all this stuff. But either way, I'll, I'll find a, a person who sells tool and the ribbon because I really like this ribbon. It's, it's really nice. It's nice. I'm used to working with actual fabric, so this is like a whole different ball game for me. Just taking my time. I know probably Danny would have like three or four done at this point, but I'm just like getting like three inches in and then I stop and then reorganize it and make sure it's all lined up. I just like to be extra, sh extra sure and extra safe. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, especially if it's your first time doing the project and you're trying not to, you know, waste the materials. I think I have a good stitch length for this too. Oh, that lines up perfect. So nice. Probably watch Sister Wives after this, so I'm looking forward to that. Assuming I'll probably be done around maybe eight. Oh, I'm up and I'm live an hour, then probably longer than that. Another 20 minutes I'm in. Okay. So there's that. 
cut said ribbon. Put it back on the reel. Yeah, exactly. I'm always, that's what I'm trying to do. Because I know that if I try to rush it the first time, it's not going to turn out great. You know, I'd rather take my time and make sure that I'm doing it right. And like second guessing myself for sure. Because whenever I feel like confident in what I'm doing, I somehow mess it up. So I feel like I'm getting more of the hang of it now that I've been doing these. But we shall see. All right, come on, ribbon. Here we go. I'm going to be right back. I just have to take my medicine, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Hello. What's going on TikTok? It's all the same. That's okay. Hopefully you guys are enjoying watching me. Let me see what my order was that I got before. Because uh, I'm curious. Let's see. It is... Number six birthday candy outfit named Hannah. Cool. Sounds good to me. I will take that. Yeah, I just had to take my meds. You know, it's like one of those things you have to take at a certain time. So took me like two seconds. Okay. Uh, tighter stitch link. No problem. I just felt like disappearing for a second. No big deal. <laughs> I got sick of you guys, so sorry. Okay. Make my lovely, beautiful, elegant channel.
almost done with this channel and then we can move on to teal. Or aqua, but the blue, whatever. I, I think it's teal. Oh, and this lines up excellent as well. There we go. Pink number two is done. There we go. Pretty. Okay. Um, teal. Which I don't think I've even opened this one. Yeah, multi needles are expensive. So um, I heard that buy is a pretty good machine, though. I don't have uh, really any uh, experience with it, obviously, because I don't have a buy. But let me check my email real quick. Email. I hate it when you're waiting for an email and then you check your email and you have like a bunch of junk. So annoying. Yeah, they didn't get back to me yet. I'll oh, see about that. Okay. So on to the aqua or teal. Sorry, it's teal. Excuse me. Undo this bad boy. Thank you guys for all the thumbs up. That's amazing. Yeah, not having to change the, the colors is a really, really positive aspect to this, my multi-needle in my opinion. I mean, I would have had to literally babysit my embroidery machine while it does it. And otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to get this tutu done. So definitely recommend that if you... Oh, no, this feels a little bit different. It's not as stiff, so that's interesting. Still feels okay, but it doesn't feel as stiff as the other ones. So hopefully it'll be fine. But, oh, I'm also planning on doing a six-month review of my... Uh, uh, Rakoma here. So definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, probably won't record that until the weekend. So hopefully by next week, I'll have that posted because got it in July of last year. And obviously it's uh, January. So it means it's been six months, which is absolutely bonkers in my opinion. I can't believe it's, I feel like I've had it a lot longer than that. Okay. So now Mr. Teal, let's go. Or aqua. It's aqua. I don't know why I keep saying teal. And then we can do the fun part and start stringing it. That'll be the fun part. Not that this isn't fun. This is definitely fun. Definitely fun. It's nice that you guys are keeping me company too. Oh, two of the 1600E. That's cool. I just got one, and that's plenty enough for me. Yeah, I've never tried the sewing and embroidery combination machines. I've always only had exclusively embroidery machines. 
Got my first one from uh, Amazon, I think. Was it Walmart? I think, yeah, I think I, yeah, I ordered it from Amazon because I remember it was summer 2020. That's when I got my first machine, which is a four by four. I think I got it for like $400 or something. Great machine and everything. Well, you know, it's, it's, I was just very limited for what I could do on it. So that's why I got my of a 1600E and I knew that eventually I'd outgrow the five by seven. So that's why I went, went bigger, bigger, go home, whatever the saying is. This teal is really cute. Aqua, geez. Aqua, it's aqua. It's not teal. Get it through your brain. My brain is mush. It is mush at this point. But that's okay. One side of the aqua is done. Do the other one uh, this way. good it's cute uh that's the wrong side Check TikTok out in a second here. Sorry, guys. Let's see what you're talking about. Ken Sewing Center. I've I've heard of them before. So there's a specific problem. I know that's kind of the, I feel the same way, Beth. It's like. I don't need another one, but it'd be nice. Yeah, exactly. I feel the same way, even with uh, Racoma or like any, you know, um, embroider related um, machine business. It's like, um, heck yeah, I'd love to be an affiliate. Absolutely. So love to work with Racoma someday. That would be, that would be really cool. Uh oh. Ran out of Bob in a while back. Let's see if I have a full one. I know I filled up a crap ton of them before. Are they all empty? 
Oh, is this one? I thought I just saw. I literally filled up so many of them. The heck. Are they over here? No. Want, want, need to fill up new bobbin. That stinks. All right, I'm going to fill up all of these with bobbin thread then. Annoying. I did. Thank you for pointing that out. I think I might have run out too. I don't know. Okay. Whoa. There we go. I'm going to fill up a bunch of them. Brief intermission while I fill up new bobbins. I have a bunch of them going to fill up here. All right, there's one. I hate it too especially when you're on a roll when you're sewing it's like oh let me just grab another bobbin and then you're like I don't have another bobbin oh that's cool yeah this one it's a nice lovely surprise Especially when you're like, well, you know, out of bobbin and then you're like, oh, you are out of bobbin. Uh, all right, there's a second one. We're just going to do them all. Um, I so I set up my sublimation printer. I still have to play with a few of the settings. I did uh, attempt to film the making of my um, name tags, but I just have to play with the settings, I think. And I was kind of tired that day. So um, I'll eventually finish recording that video. And I have not yet made any uh, tags or printed anything from it yet. Three. Pretty much only use white bobbin, so that's why I really only use white thread, completely honest with you. All right, come on. I'm trying to put you through here. There you go. Okay, number four. Yeah, I filmed that unboxing video probably a week and a half ago, and I just got to posting it, so whoops.
All right, halfway done with uh, filling up bobbins and we'll go back to sewing. And then we can finish this. I'm really excited to play with my sublimation printer. I have like a lot of ideas for like back to school items and things like that because that's my biggest seller, um, at least so far when it comes to like seasons and things like that or like uh, ho not holidays, but you know what I mean with events and things like that. That's a good term to use. Excuse me. What the heck happened? Must have cut something I wasn't supposed to cut. Okay. So three more and then we're done with loading up the bobbins. Welcome to life of being a sewist because this is what you do most of the time is make mistakes and fill up bobbins. At least when it comes to me. But I have this like little bowl that I keep uh, all my uh, bobbins and stuff in. But yeah, I definitely don't have I have some bobbins that have like a little bit of white on it, but I'd rather just use a full bobbin. I'm sorry, Michelle, are you like a magician or, some, or something? What do you like to do when you're not working? Like uh, outside of my full-time job in this? Um, let's see. I'm big into like watching reality shows. Like right now I'm into watching Sister Wives from the beginning just because I like drama and watching things fall apart. So knowing that they're all leaving their husband, you know, because in their polygamy, you know, just so it's just interesting to watch it all fall apart at the seam. So um, I also like to knit. Uh, right now I have a like a knitting loom that I'm making a knit, uh, knit blanket with, which I'll definitely, uh, I'll probably post like pictures in the discord and stuff of what I'm working on. And, um, let's see, I just started to get back into reading again. I like to read like mystery books where there's something weird going on. Um, yeah, like what else do I like to do? I just started to get into working out again. Um, haven't had the best diet as of late, so that's kind of unfortunate, but um, hopefully get back into that. I went to the gym once this year, which is a big deal for me. I also watch YouTube. Um, that's a big thing. I have a knitting machine, actually. I have a tutorial on how to use it. Um, I made a knit headband with it. It's really nice. It's really fun to do. So I have a knitting machine. I have a knitting loom for like chunky blankets. I'll show you guys in a second. Let me bring out my blanket that I made that I use literally all the time. It's in my fa uh, little family room here. It's a big boy. So here it is. It is a chunky knit blanket that actually I fold over twice because I live in upstate New York. So this is like really nice to use and it's really long. I mean, I'll hold it up for you guys so you can see. Like it's, it's literally touching the floor right now and it's so nice to use it in the winter time. Um, so I made this with the knitting loom. Let me actually get that and I can show you guys. 
So I made it with this one. So I made it with a knitting loom and then there's like a special tool that you use. So it has like pegs and everything on it. So this one's really cool. I really want to offer this in my Etsy shop. Um, this one's mine though. Nobody can have it, but if somebody orders it, you know, cause I like to do things when I watch TV and relax. So making these, uh, knit blankets is really nice. So I have one for like chunky, chunky yarn. Like you guys can see how freaking chunky and beautiful it is. It, it was a really nice fun blanket to make. So this one's mine, but I really want to offer it in my Etsy shop and I'll probably be able to offer it for a good chunk of money because it, it's a big boy. And I'm working on a smaller one right now. I guess I can bring it out and show you guys. So this is the one I'm working on right now. So it's like a pink blanket and it's made of like thinner yarn. So I just like to do this while I sit and watch TV. And like, as you can see, these are the pegs for it. And I just kind of like wrap the yarn around like, around like that. Or let me try it again. So I kind of go around it and that's kind of how you add a new row, so. It's fun. I like it. I got the uh, Afghan, the bit, the chunky knit one I got from Amazon, but I know that they offer the white one at Joann's, I think for $45. Um, but you can probably easily use like a 50% off coupon for it. So I highly recommend, Oh, all these follows. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for all the follows. I appreciate you guys. Just check my TikTok and I have all these new peoples. Let me do this last bob in here. Eep. Thank you. I love it too. It's uh, for, for Nat, B-E-R-N-A-T blanket yarn, I think, or something. Like chunky blanket yarn, something like that. So I really like the colors too. And I have a gray couch, so it blends in really well. Oh, ooh, Michelle, that's cool. I just love to hear what people make. I just think it's so interesting because everybody has like different crafts that they're into. So I'm actually gonna put all these white ones in this baggie here, just so I know that they're all white ones because my other ones are kind of mixed in. There. Okay. Might help if I got the bobbin out that was empty. All right, now we can continue. I just have to reconnect my yarn here. Or my my yarn, my thread. I also like to crochet too. However, I haven't done it like consistently in a, a few years. Just because I don't really have much time. But I, I have a sister who has autism. And she saw me making these blankets, uh, my pink one. And she's like, oh, that looks really cool. So I actually taught her how to make it and she's making her first blanket. So uh, my family just loves crafts in general. So I think it's like a, a, a gene or something. I've always been into just making things. Oh, can I use a threader? How does it work? This has an automatic threader and I'm just wondering how to use it. Whatever, I'll thread it myself, it's fine. I'm a big girl, it's fine. They're just curious how to use it.
Yeah, come on, you were almost there. There. Had to yell at it for it to behave. Pull that up. There. Okay. Where were we? I think we were maybe sewing something, but I don't really recall. Um, there. I don't recall. Okay. Let us continue. Hopefully it behaves. Let's finish this. What do you guys like to, to do in your free time? Yeah, I like to go live on there just just sometimes just to keep up with my my people that like to follow me and stuff. Just because it's fun. It's just fun to use a new platform. And then I could easily do like a quick little live versus YouTube where I feel bad if I do quick lives. I like to do long lives on, on YouTube. On the tube. Yeah, like I said, whenever I watch TV at night, I have to be doing something with my hands or I just want to like eat random crap or I just get bored or I go on my phone. So I just like to use my uh, use my loom. Okay. Getting there. Second layer is done. Let me trim these threads. Oh. <laughs> I'm the same way, Liz. I'm the same way. What reality shows do you like to watch, Liz? I started, uh, I s attempted to start to watch The Circle, but I always, every single time, I have a really hard time getting into it just because it's like kind of dorky. Um, I watched, let's see, what else have I, oh, this, uh, The Mole, I recently watched The Mole on Netflix, that was a good one, that was really good, I actually really enjoyed that, I like to watch, like, The Challenge and stuff on MTV, too, I just like shows like that while I, like, get fat and sit on the couch, so, and judge people for not completing challenges.
blood. Oh, wait, what happened? Oh yeah, Jersey Shore. I love Jersey Shore. Um, I actually would spend my summers at the Jersey Shore, um, half an hour away from where it was filmed. And one of their places that they would often hang out with was um, Point Pleasant, which was a literally town next to ours. So there's like, there's a uh, Manasquan and then there's like an inlet and then there's uh, Point Pleasant. So they were like re literally right there. And it's funny cause uh, I remember one time we went to Jenkinson's as a family to like do the arcades and stuff. And somebody was like, yeah, Snooki puked here yesterday at this like Jenkinson's sign. So it was just really funny, you know, and it was still filming, of course. And somebody was like, yeah, Snooki just puked here. And it was like a, a monumental thing. I'm like, oh my gosh. I know that there's a new season coming up too. So I'm for sure going to watch it. sure. I usually watch Jeopardy with my parents too whenever I go visit them. Okay. One teal is done. Aqua. Aqua. It's aqua, Megan. It's aqua. Jeez. Jeez. Oh, that's gonna be so pretty. Okay. We wind up some more. Do you name your machines? Um, I do not. They do not actually, like, I don't call them by certain names. I just am like, oh, my Recoma or my uh, 1600E. I, it's probably bad luck, I know. Um, probably should name my sublimation printer. What do you guys recommend that I name my sublimation printer? Any suggestions? I did a longer stitch length of that. Whoops. Hopefully it'll be fine. <laughs> Didn't to like live stream that keeps buffering. Okay, well, thank you for joining at least. Hopefully it'll uh, look better when you uh, rewatch the watch the live here. Mine was buffering the other day too, but hopefully it's okay now.
Mr. Fuzzy Pants. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> That's funny. It's always kind of sad whenever I get rid of machines. I remember I had to get rid of my Cricut Explore Air 2 just because it, it literally died mid-project and then it was not going anywhere. Um, like it wasn't, it wasn't moving or anything, it was just frozen. But luckily it was around Christmas time, so I just got to, uh, my mom actually buy, bought me a new one, so that worked out. One layer is done, almost done with this, and we can start stringing. So that's exciting. Okay. Put that on there. Oh, I might have enough. I think I have to unwind anything. Hopefully I get lots of orders with these tutus. I feel like I got the hang of at least this part. This part I was the most nervous about. Oh, really? Fix it because I put sublimation ink into even though. Oh, that's weird. That's really strange. Yeah, because I think the warranty on mine is like two years or something like that. Which I did purchase the warranty because I've been bad about doing that with my machine. So I for sure did that for my sublimation printer and of course my Recoma for sure. All right, time to sew the channel. First, I'll put my aqua teal. Aqua, I said it right. Put that away, and then I can start putting my tutu together. Cute. Eight oh eight. Oh, we're not doing terribly. 
my first squirt took a long time too. So, all right, tighter stitch length. Foldy, foldy. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. Try not to get catch anything on my machine here. No, I definitely won't tell them I put sublimation ink in. That's a good thing to know. Oh, really? That's, that's weird. There doesn't grab paper, grabs paper and splits it. Oh. Hi, Rhonda. Welcome. Glad to have you here. And thank you guys all so much for all the likes. This is wonderful. You all are absolutely wonderful, in case you didn't know. All right. So I'll get my prepped tool, put it here. I've been following uh, Cindy Moncada's uh, tutu tutorial, so that's how I kind of got my measurements here. Um, so let me just pull that up. Hopefully you guys don't hear anything. I'm just like quickly going to pause it. Uh, pause. Okay. 18 and a half inch. Okay. So let me get my big ruler. Um, excuse me, I said stop. Sorry about that if you heard that. Okay. Um, and then I have, let's see, there's my box. I'm going to use this elastic here. Ba doop ba doop. I'm going to 
cut it with my ruler. So I'm going to do 18 and a half inches. Cut it. I'm going to use my bobkin. First, I'm going to put this elastic away. Probably move you guys so you can see me a bit better. We go. Okay. So I got my bobkin here. Hopefully TikTok can see me. Okay, let me check TikTok actually. Thank you guys for all the follows. I am using a Guterman sewing thread. It's uh, 120, Mara 120, it's 5,000 meters. Um, and I got it from Waywac. It's 100% polyester thread. So I think I'll do the pink first. Oh, a bit anxious about this one here. Why are you having issues? Maybe my casing's a bit too tight. Oh, it's catching. I see, there you go. What is your problem, my friend? Okay, just have to do it a little bit at a time, I guess. Does not like this elastic at all. I just need to make sure I put it all on the same direction and everything. Keeps like bunching up, what the heck? There we go. Oh, I see, it's like caught. Okay, got it, okay. Just got a little dicey there for a second. Large paper, but yeah, okay. It is a good evening to be working on projects for sure.
gonna do what Sterling Pam with Sterling Styles does and just kind of have it on my machine here. Catch. Um, then we'll do teal. Wrong way. There we go. Nervous. Well, this one's going on much smoother. My first tutu, exciting. Oh, this is so freaking cute, guys. I just made a freaking tutu. I'm so impressed with myself. I am Wonder Woman. I feel like that every time I make a new project, I'm like, I am so freaking good. <laughs> oh, and then I have a shirt I can make for a sample for one of these if people like it. Like an actual made shirt. Cute. And then light pink again. Then teal. And then last but not least, purple.
if I can thread it in there correctly. It is my first one. I've watched a lot of YouTube other people on how to make them. So I feel like I kind of have a good idea on how to make them. And honestly, this is turning out really, really well. I attempted to sew yesterday, but I think I just cut the tool weird. So I did a much better job though uh, today. So um, I'm very pleased. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy. That's very nice of you to say. Okay. It's a tutu and I'll have to sew all this together too. So there's my tutu, so fluffy. And then I'm gonna sew the elastic together. And I'll adjust the tool, kind of make it all even here. It's kind of bunched up in some places. Cute. So then I'm going to actually sew like the pieces together here, just so, you know, it kind of flows nicely. And then I'll kind of fluff up the tutu after that. Cut it and make it even. So then it'll be connected like that. Thank you guys. You should. Um, I learned how to make it from, um, uh, like I said, Cindy Moncada. She has a good tutorial and I think Angela Jasmina does as well. I'll fluff it up and make it look all nice. Thank you. I think you're a new commenter, so thank you for joining today. I have a feeling this will be one of the first of many tutus that I will do on this channel, so hopefully you guys are ready for that.
I think I saw Sterling Styles did it this. Somebody did it this way. Um, and I just thought it was clever just to kind of make everything flow nicely. So I may have stolen it. So or adopted the practice myself, we'll just say. Getting there. I think we have a few more to go. Then after that, I think we'll fluff it up and that'll be it. I don't know if I'm going to add a ribbon. I don't think I will, at least tonight. So I don't think it really needs it, honestly. Like a bow, I mean. I just feel like it's like a nice professional touch. And then I'm going to relax and watch Sister Wives. Might be too late to make another sample. Oh, really? Oh, that's a shame. But thank you for the compliment. I appreciate that. that one okay so now I'm gonna make it look nice and flowy make sure it's not twisted I want it to look pretty, a pretty tutu. Tuck it in, make it look good. So then when I go to take pictures tomorrow, it'll be all puffed up and looking, looking cute. So if you're watching on TikTok, I will be uh, uploading these to my Etsy shop. Uh, probably, I would say tomorrow in the evening. Um, Eastern Standard Time, because I will be driving to uh, Syracuse, New York. Um, and then when I get there, I'm definitely planning on uploading these as soon as possible. And I still have to take uh, pictures, as you can tell. Yeah, I'll put it on the mannequin. We can definitely do that. And then I actually have a embroidered shirt that I stitched out. I can put it on the mannequin, although I was not intending it to go with the tutu. You know, if people want to see what it looks like or, um, you know, if they like that combination better, then they can definitely purchase that version. This purple's kind of whack here. A little crazy. This popped out. We need to get under control. Push you in there. Push you in there. We need to chill. Yeah, so there is the 2-2. Honestly, first try, I will take it. Yeah, let me get my mannequin if it gets in my closet. Thank you for the follow.
Yep, there she goes. And I made the size two so it would fit my mannequin. It's a 2T and my mannequin is two to uh, three years. There. Uh, maybe I'll do it. Pop this in. Ignore my double chins here. I'm a bit thick, so what can you do? There. And then I'll put this shirt on the mannequin too. So you can kind of get the full idea. Like I said, the shirt is not supposed to go with this outfit, but I'll list it anyways. And then if somebody buys it, cool. This is a 4T, so it's going to be a little bit bigger. Oh, oh, so cute. If I could put it on the bottom of the mannequin. Make it look nice. Oh, it's cute. There it is, and it's full glory. I mean, look how perfect that is. And I feel like it even goes with the shirt. Because like I said, I chose more pastel colors for it. Um, but however, I think this would look cute too. So there's that. And like I said, I made a 2T, 2-2. Two -two. So yeah. That's what we got. Thank you guys. So yeah, I'm definitely going to list this on my Etsy shop too, especially since I have this shirt all embroidered out. Um, so yeah, that was my first tutu. Let me just show TikTok real quick. So here's the outfit that we made today. So I made this tutu and this shirt is actually for an order. So I think it turned out really, really cute. So hopefully you guys like it as well. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for today. It needs a bow. Yeah, I think so too, like right in the front. I'll have to do that tomorrow. Kind of pooped, so. Uh, but yeah, that is my first tutu. So thank you guys so much for watching me today. Um, I appreciate all the compliments. Um, I can't believe I made my first tutu. It's pretty wild. And I got two, three outfits that I can make with this. So I'll post three new uh, listings on my Etsy shop. So that'll be exciting. But overall, I think it looks absolutely perfect. I wouldn't really change anything. Love. I mean, look at, look at that poof. I mean, look at that. This purple is kind of a little wild here. It can calm itself down. But Look at all that beautiful, beautiful ribbon. It's so cute. Uh, so yeah, so um, thank you guys so much for joining today. Um, probably won't go live this weekend because I won't be here. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up, please do that I'm on your way out here today. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful evening. If you have not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Um, and thank you all so much for the wonderful chat and just hanging out with me tonight. And I will see you guys in the next live. Bye.